Christian here, and here is our Western Maryland 1309 Memories Part 2. You almost knew this was going to come about in the vlog season, or as what I like to call it, Memories Season. So the last time I was discussing 1309 in this Memories video, I spoke about how in 2022 I went down to the Welcome Back 1309 Charter hosted by Trains Magazine and, and chased the 1309 on the Fall Foliage Excursions. Well, after that, I saw a video from the Trains Magazine photo charter. It looked pretty cool. I was a little jealous of the fact that the lighting at the tunnel worked. But I knew what I was in for when I shot the tunnel in 2022. But then I saw the footage from the Frostburg Polar Express trips and the Winter Flyer excursions the first weekend of January in 2023. While the fall, the fall colors are beautiful, and in my opinion, that is the best time of year to go. I was watching the stuff that people got, especially on the Frostburg Polar Express, because... The first year I chased the 1309 during the Cumberland Polar Express trips, they only ran up to Helmstetter's Curve, whereas the Frostburg Polar Express trips, the trips departed out of Frostburg, and a lot of the best spots on the line are west of Helmstetter's on the line. And there's a lot of great hiking spots, such as the Tunnel, such as Sunnyside, CMP Bridge 2, and Switch Number 9, just to name a few, that you can get to, but if you were to go to them on a regular chase, some of these shots would literally be your only shot during the regular chase. The trips only went to Sunnyside the first year, and jealous of missing them and really wanting to get back into YouTube and start making train content again in February, me and Lane's train spoke about going to chase the 1309. Originally on the website, it had it that Steam was going to run the first two weekends in February, but then that was canceled and they pushed the date back to President's Day weekend. Now, this was all during the time of the Laro photography photo charter of when the 1309 was painted back to its Chesapeake and Ohio colors. So me, Lane, and then Stephen Sane, who was going to be driving up to chase the train, all were discussing the fact of, hey, what if the engine is still in its Chesapeake and Ohio paint? And about a week beforehand, we got confirmation of that. What's going to be new with these memories videos this year is I'm going to actually share vlogs of these adventures. So here is the vlog of the Chesapeake and Ohio 1309 Winter Flyer in the mountains. The frosting issues, which I'm hoping I don't deal with at 2.30, so I can uh, make it down to a place called Cumberland. Pennsylvania. Hi, and welcome to Pennsylvania. I'll be here for another three hours. Yay! That's breakfast. I messed up. It didn't go as well as I thought it would. Did you put sprinkles? I did put sprinkles in it, and it didn't go as well. And now the um, now the thing is has sprinkles in it, and I feel bad because now they got cleaned back. And I tried to clean it, but it wouldn't all come out. I feel bad. It tastes good though. All right, let me on your recording. Go. Oh. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power. Don't try it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this camera for that noise. Gee, right. we are walking through the tunnel after 1309 put on a better Please. smoke show than yeah. any of the charters. <laughs> and I am currently walking like this. So what was that, Christian? The white cloud of death is above us. So we're currently on the Cumberland in Pennsylvania. No, we're not. We're, we're on the on Cumberland. The Western Maryland scenic. We're on the Cumberland in Pennsylvania line. So guess who's got the high ground? It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. my best chance right now because now I'm gonna record every time I think I'm near one. It's beautiful. And just throwing this out there, there is the sun. There is the sunset. I 
remember for these trips I had had it planned. I definitely wanted a redo of the tunnel and I wanted it soon because of how bad the fall one came out. I wanted to get the CMP bridge number two. For the winter flyers, which really sold me on the trips, was the fact they operated two trips a day. You had one trip at 10 a.m. and another trip at 1.30, which different parts of the line lighting worked. Example, the tunnel was great at 10 a.m. And the CMP bridge number two during the 1.30 excursion was also decently lit. And for these excursions, I knew I wanted to hike into a few different spots that I had never been to before, but I also realized too I wanted to have the most basic chase plan. And I would say I think we had a successful chase. Minus Lane and his waffle maker. Lane, when you watch this video, you will probably look at me and go, really? <laughs> But around this time, too, I was planning on the fact I wanted to shoot more of the 1309. The Western Maryland Scenic Railroad is one of my favorite railroads in the country, and actually seeing it really brought to light a lot of these places I'd seen in videos like Defergs, Fusco's, Blue Comets with the 1309, but going back to 734, Penn Central, all these great and unique locations. So I knew I wanted to go back down to the Western Maryland this year a few different times. Originally, I was planning to go back in the summer, and I was planning on going back in the fall. Well, the summer plans soon were canceled because the 1309 was undergoing maintenance that did take it out from February to October. There was even a point in this year where people were wondering if it was going to operate again, but Western Maryland kept assuring people it will operate again. And originally, my plan for the fall was to spend another four days, and I had all these classic Deferg shots I wanted to get out of my way. Well, around August, it became official that the 611 was going to be returning to the main line at the Virginia Scenic Railroad and would be pulling the Shenandoah Valley Limited. I made the choice then, after talking with a few friends, that I really wanted to go see the 611 on the main line again. So I originally canned the 1309 plants for the fall, but I'd still planned on going to the Frostburg Polar Express trips. Well, as everyone now knows, the 611 had a little mechanical issue on the last weekend in October. That was the weekend I went down to chase the 611 on the Shenandoah Valley Limited. That Friday night, when word became official, we were trying to search around for plans when I did a Google search on my phone and saw that the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad was only two hours north. And here is the vlog from that trip. I failed at doing a vlog this trip, but hey guys, where's the 611? It's dead. dead. It's dead. Th this dead. is going to be for the 611 vlog. So, <laughs> <laughs> so guess what we're going to see today? 1309. The worser version of 611. <laughs> this is the most welcome sign we're going to get on this route, but we're in West Virginia again heading to Cumberland because 611 broke down. Oh, this might be a welcome sign. Virginia welcome sign's back there, but not the welcome to West Virginia sign. That's actually kind of funny. Here oh, here it is. For probably the next 20 or so minutes. Hey, hey, the CNO Canal Byway. Maryland, where is the welcome sign? I saw some that just said Maryland. You just passed it. Oh, there's Maryland up here. There it is. Keep Maryland beautiful. Yeah, we're going to figure out how fun the sun's going to be today. Oh, hey, look at all the dust spectacles on my camera screen that I need to clean off. Currently here at the Wumbo. Wombology Scenic Railway, waiting for the 1309 because 611 broke. Snapchat's being creepy and telling me to say hi to Chris because apparently we're in the same town together. Hi Chris, did you know we were here together? No Chris, and I didn't know we were here together. Holy I, crap, what a strange coincidence. This is strange man, are you following me? I think I am. Jesus. Chris? Christian? What are you guys doing out here? What are you doing here? I don't Snap just said you guys were nearby. Dude, this is weird. We're currently sitting at Cheats and Frostburg. So, so two, two foamers walk into the Frostburg Depot and walk out with Western Maryland Scenic Hats. 
I came from 611. Says the person yeah. that literally was like, oh, I'm going to shoot 1309 for the next two days and it's coming back in December. <laughs> <laughs> you have any statement over there, Mr. Thomas? No, I don't. He's right there. This man is correct. Look at that, a group of foamers walking away from the Trimble Lane signal bridge. Day two of the chase ended up being a 1309 chase, and how would you say we did today? I think we did pretty good. It says Chessy. Oh Where? my gosh, it does. The Chessy is back. The Chessy Bank is back. Look, it's the Wumbo Kumbo Scenic Railway Station. The authentic Western Maryland bridge that's now abandoned. So after that nice little vlog, we got back to the hotel, and that's when someone posted a photo of the 611 being coupled up to the train, and then that Sunday the 611 operated on the train, or the 611 operated the excursions as planned. Had they not had the 611 fixed, I would have went back up to the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad Road and got another day of chasing. And with the friends I was with, we went for the most basic chase route possible because with one day, you can get about five shots. And I just went for the basic shots, the ones that I knew that they hadn't gotten yet because that group of friends had, minus GT Railfan Productions, had yet to actually return to the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad since the debut of the Polar Express in 2021. So after that, I knew the Frostburg Polar Express trips were coming up, and here's the vlog from that. It's 3.53. How do you feel, Colby? Hello? <laughs> I'm tired. We're up at 3.53 to go chase the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad. pick it up but we're now in Pennsylvania. I don't remember if there's a sign. Oh yeah there's the sign. We are now in Maryland. Forgot to do this. We are in Cumberland. Alright. Waiting 1225? 765? Um you know 425? Oh, 2102? It, oh, I think it's 4014 actually. 734? I think it's the big boy. steamer. Colby. Michael, this is Snapchat. <laughs> and now we're just waiting on the Wumbo Land Railroad. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds like them, right? Looks like that sounds like a sound. Hey, hey everyone, want to know how bright Colby's flashlight is? <laughs> ah. Ah. I got blue eyes, you know, they're sensitive. Colby, what do you have to say on your flashlight? I can see God. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, how are you still the whitest person I know? I, I will have you know I'm a decent shade of pink. I, I, I think the camera's saying different right now. Oh, well, well yeah, because you have a white light in my face. <laughs> Evan's, uh, um, white, He's white is in the red. I'm in the red. Hey, is that middle, is that middle Tennessee <laughs> rail productions back there? What? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> ah! Oh, God! Whoa. You, know what? Love you know what? I want to make everybody jealous, too. Let's get our phones out and I'll record this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
We are on our way home after a great three days of 1309. We haven't really done much of a vlog from the road, but we took a different way back. About a week after that, someone shared a photo of the 501 leading the Polar Express trips, and that's when it became known that 1309 had an issue and was sidelined for the rest of the Polar Express season. And currently, the railroad needs to replace the pistons on the 1309. So as we are in the 2023 in review stage of the year, getting to see 1309 three times in 2023 was fantastic. And whenever I go down to this railroad, like I said, I'm always kind of looking for some of those shots Deferred got of 734 because when you watch some of those classic videos that Deferred got of 734 back in the day, he really got some of the most secluded spots sometimes. He got some of the best shots. And every time I've been down there, I've always kind of looked at the line like that, and there's always a shot, hmm, this is what I want to get th next time, but this time and maybe next time. But there's other YouTubers, too, that really inspired my work down at the Western Maryland Scenic. But I would say before the Director's Cut video, I definitely did get my fill of the Western Maryland Scenic this year. Finally being able to go and focus more on the 1309, getting some shots I haven't gotten of it yet, makes me look to 2024 and this year is already looking to be hectic with 2816's return. There's a convention I'm going to in the summer I'm looking forward to and while I look at what I really want to shoot this year and prioritize, unfortunately right now with there being no timeline on when 1309 will operate again, unless 1309 pulls summer trips, I don't foresee myself going back down to the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad this year. In the fall, I'm hoping to actually get back down south to the Tennessee Valley Railroad Museum and the Great Smoky Mountains Railroad. But if an opportunity does open for the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad, I will probably jump on top of that. Anyhow, that was my look back. That was my Western Maryland Scenic 1309 Memories video. Hope you all enjoyed and hope you all enjoy the new style of the vlog. And next up, it is the Western Maryland 1309 Second Season Director's Cut. I haven't come up with a title for it yet. And after that, it'll be the Diesels of the Western Maryland Scenic, featuring every shot I've gotten of a diesel on that line. Anyhow, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.